Oh, come on, you useless notches. How long is this going to take, seriously? I hope you're not speaking to a prospective client. <sighs> you're trying to give me a heart attack. Sorry. Listen, I was wondering if it's okay if I take lunch a little earlier than usual. Or Jenny wants to talk to me about something. Yep, yep, fill your boots. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm just chasing up some documents. Should have been here days ago. Uh, what kind of documents? I'm putting Peter up for adoption. Fed up with him. <laughs> no, it's, just, it's nothing very interesting. It's just work stuff. Right. Well, uh, good luck. I yeah. hope you hope you mm -hmm. get them. Was eventually, but I haven't even told Stephen yet. Oh, now's your chance. Oh. I got your message. Uh, you wanted to talk. Is everything okay? Yeah, no, it, it's fine. It's... Really? Well, uh, then why do I get the feeling my ears should be burning? No, 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 no. There's nothing to worry about. I promise. I was just. Telling Daisy here that I have changed my mind. Changed your mind about what? Thailand. I want to do it. Uh, excuse us a, a sec. What, what, what's the matter? I just, I just want to make sure you're certain. Be because I, I know it's, it's sudden and it, it's a big commitment. No, no, no. I mean it. I do. I mean it this time. Let's do it. Let's go away together. Jenny, Connor, you have made me a very, very happy man. Oh, hey. Oh, sorry, that took so long. Traffic was bumper to bumper, but at least it wasn't a, a wasted journey. The meeting seemed to go well. And... Shut the door. Sorry? I said shut the door. Um... Is everything okay? Did something, uh, did something happen while I was out? Yep. A big, massive penny dropped. I'm, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not quite with you. No, you're not, are you? In fact, you've been very much against me for a very long time. All right, you're, you're obviously, uh, angry at me, so, uh, why don't you tell me what I'm supposed to have done to upset you? Angry, no, I'm way past angry. Although, I will cut to the chase. I know it was you, Stephen. I know what you've done. You wanted this place for yourself and you wanted me out of the way, but I wasn't going anywhere, was I? So you thought you'd give me a little push. Uh, Carla, no, no offense, but uh, have you been drinking? <laughs> no, Stephen, I've not been drinking. Although I did have a little tea earlier. Though luckily it wasn't like the tea you used to make me. You know, the sort spiked with LSD. LSD, Stephen to make me feel like I was losing my mind. That's the sort. Can you hear what they're saying? No. Carla's doing most of the shouting. Surprise, surprise. You should go in there. There might be some fisticuffs. All right, come on, you two. Get back to work. You can't be serious. Why would I want to send you mad? So you could take what's mine and you very nearly got away with it, didn't you, Stephen? Look, apart from these accusations being deeply hurtful, they're completely baseless. What accusations? Oh, don't concern yourself, Sarah. It's, it's, it's nothing. Nothing? No, you don't get off that easily. He spiked me with LSD so that he could make me look mad so you could take over this place. And you've come with this conclusion how? Because you put the wrong milk in my tea. I thought you might say that. Look, Stephen had the motive. He had the opportunity. You were always brewing up for me, weren't you? Like everyone else in this place, for that matter. Yeah, come on, Carly. It's a bit far-fetched, what you think. Exactly. Which is why I think it would be better if we discuss this privately once you've calmed down. Calm down? You could have killed me, Stephen. Look, it's here in black and white. Oh, so I, can't, I can't talk to you like this. Like what? Like, like a, a raving a madwoman. <laughs> Can you not see we're busy? Well, me and Sean were just wondering if we could knock off early because we've met our quota, so won't we, Sean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, fine, just go. See you tomorrow. She's right, they found traces of LSD in her hair. Well, I accept that. But I swear on my mother's life, that is not on me. Please tell me you don't believe all this nonsense. So you're on his side? I might, I guess. No, I didn't say that. I, I said you can't throw accusations around without proper proof. Thank you, Sarah. Someone's finally talking sense. You just keep trying to gaslight everybody, Stephen. All right? But it won't wash with me a second time. 
I know it was you, and I tell you what, I'm going to prove it. Good luck with that. Sarah, I'd watch your back if I were you. If he's capable of this, who knows what he's capable of? Well, she's clearly in the throes of a, another breakdown. Yeah, it looks that way. But, I mean, someone must have given her LSD. Well, how do we know she didn't take it herself? Look, I think it's in Carla's best interest if we keep this on the QT for now until we can get her the help she needs. I'll speak to Peter. Mm, good idea. Good. Mm. Hey, Daisy. Oh, hey. mm. <laughs> Daisy's been helping me with my packing. Mm -hmm. So you'll have me to thank when she gets through customs. I'll leave you to it. All right, bye. Oh, she's also given me some sightseeing suggestions because I'm all about soaking up the local culture. But what I really want to do is go to a full moon party and learn how to poi. Mm. Is everything all right? Oh, just a tricky day at work. Carla. Yeah. Well, you won't have to put up with her for much longer, will you? Mm. Hey, listen, you think we can uh, skip the meal tonight? I'm not in the mood. Yeah, it's fine with me. Donna in front of telly sounds much better. Great. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, can we uh, nip to the police station first? Let's see if I can get an update on Teddy. Mm. Yeah, listen, what, what exactly is uh, poi? Oh, it's um, spinning big balls of fire and not getting burned. Hey, mm. sounds like something I'd be good at. I can't believe they're no closer to finding him. I mean, how does a man just disappear into thin air like that? There are ways. Yeah, I know, but he didn't seem like a fake passport kind of bloke. At least didn't seem to think so either. Why? What did they say? Well, it was nothing specific. It's... I just, I get the feeling that they know a lot more than they're letting on. Well, uh, you know, maybe we just need to let them do their job. I won't answer, Stephen. Leo was murdered and his killer's still out there. Hey, Carla, what are you doing here? Is, that, is everything all right? Pretty confident it will be, yeah. What on earth was that about? <sighs> Search me. Listen. Why don't you head straight home, get into your slippers, and uh, well, I'll, I'll swing by the, the kebab shop. All right, OK. Mm. Hey, do you think they do kebabs in Thailand? I'll tell you what, I can't wait to find out. Oh, OK. See you in a bit. Sorry, did I uh, scare you? Should I expect a visit from the police, then? If you must know, Stephen, they'll laugh me out of the building. But don't think for one second that I'm giving up. I know what you've done, Stephen. I'm not going to let you get away with it. Oh, Carla, you sound more and more unhinged by the second. Dolly, where's my kebab? Oh, listen, they were queuing around the block, so I, I nipped into work. But I'm stopping her up. Yeah, no, no, I, I shouldn't be much longer. Uh, actually, I'm in a, a rush. Jenny's waiting for her tea. It's important. Is this about Carla? No. Well, sort of. Do you think she's going to sack you? Well, I wouldn't put it past her. Because you need to pay back the money that you owe to Granny. You can't do that if you're not working. I mean, you could always give her your nipper snapper money. That would be a start. I'm on it. I'm not going to keep my mouth shut forever, you know. You're running out of time. I said I'm on it. If anything, we will get him and we will make him pay. I can promise you that. But we'll find it a lot easier if he thinks he's in the clear. Do you understand, Carla? Stephen can't know we're onto him. <laughs> 